Yo, what is up beautiful people, welcome back to a brand new video and over the last two weeks we went from level 80 slayer all the way to level 95 slayer and that was all to kill Hydra and you're gonna be able to witness my first attempt uh, but for some reason my microphone was muted so it's really awkward because I was commentating, I was like explaining everything and uh, well I was muted so I was basically explaining everything for myself. I was streaming this over on twitch.tv slash Mikado79 as I usually do and I got up to 100kc today and this video is going to be mainly about showcasing the loot from 100kc and then giving my opinion on the boss itself, what I would change, maybe something like that. So just stay tuned, see what we got and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Since I'm filling the gap of this post commentary right now, um, I will be showcasing the full quote unquote perfect kill later on in this video where I will basically be showing you guys a kill without mistakes where I eat zero food um, and yes it is possible to do basically with no prayer with no food so the boss is actually very very easy once you do understand it uh, but, as I, but as I said I'll showcase that a little bit later in the video I just wanted to show you how newbie and I had no idea what I was doing on my first ever ever kill but I was still able to complete it. It was a very close 13 HP in the end, but we did it, so that's what matters. In the background, you will be able to see a perfect kill. However, uh, that was my kill number 50, and from here on on, I maybe got a little bit better with my positioning, but outside of that, this is just about the perfect kill. You start off either playing range or mage, and you move uh, to the point where there is a red square because the green face of Hydra you wanna move it on that green uh, on that red box making it uh, weak to your attacks when the blue face comes you wanna put it on the green box and once again your attacks will deal a nice damage I uh, like to go on the middle on that one and then just run around the corner like that to avoid the blue um, blue electricity things they stun you they damage you they are annoying um, but the most importantly with Hydra, she does three attacks with range, three attacks with mage, three attacks with range, three attacks with mage. And the only time she changes that, or he, I don't know if Hydra is a she or a he, uh, when he or she, fuck, changes, uh, it's uh, on the last phase, on the fourth phase, she does one major range attack and then uh, the opposite one, then the opposite one. Then she spits out the little freaking Xarpus thingy. So you see here three attacks, then she spits that thing out, and then it's just mage, range, mage, range. And it all depends what uh, the red face last attack was. And it's very, very simple, boss. If you want to slow it down, see how I do it, go for it. That was a perfect kill, with no mistakes. Super restores, coins, hydra bones. There we go. Kill count number three. Can we get the freaking thingy? Please. Please. Oh, that looked cool. Okay, Dragon Bones, Chaos Runes, four. What do we get? Ooh, okay, two Mystic Stamps. Let's quickly sell everything, see how much we made. All right, I try to sell all the loot of this kill. Just want to see how much we get per kill, basically, at this point. No, this don't want to sell. 135k in this one. There we go. Kill count number five, I believe. For the grand total of Snapdragon. Mm, death Runes and Blood Runes. Dragon Madhelm. No, that's that has to be rare, but uh, black dehyde body. All right, this one is not that good. I mean, death runes are still okay, I guess. Ooh, mystic stuff again, and a black dehyde body. Ooh, ooh, ah, that's the worst drop so far. What? That's like twenty k. No, 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 not like this. Give me better drops. Dragon bones. Okay. Room plate body, room plate skirt, dude. Free to play starter pack unlocked. I don't really have a reason to. I mean, come on, I want something rare, man. Dragonstone bolts. What is this? Lantadime, Lantadime, Dragonstone. All right, thank you. That was a pretty clean kill. Death runes, some bolts. Let's try a two kill trip. You see. Uh, let's change inventory around a little bit. Two kill trips are basically very simple. What the fuck? I'm getting all the mystic battle stuffs. Let's go. Alright, two kills. Alright, two kill trip. Could probably go for three, but 
I'll take less bruise next time. We get more battle staves and hydra bones. Three kills a trip, not bad. Some super restores. I'll take archer's ring from now on. I don't need suffering anymore. Which is sick. I'll reorganize my inventory a little bit. Look at how much food I have on the floor. This is actually super easy. Once you get the hang of it. Look at this. And yeah, that was basically without any bruise. Crystal key, what the fuck? So uh, we got like one, two, three, four kills without bruise, just full inventory of food. That could very well be a perfect trip. And we got another dragon man helm. Just look at this inventory, man. It looks beautiful. Look at this. There we go, 500k from one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Yeah, the money doesn't seem to be that great. I'm not gonna lie. I've killed 40 so far and uh, Well, I don't really know about the drop rate of anything yet. So who knows? But so far it doesn't seem too promising. I feel like I would be getting more money doing gargoyles or something um, Either way, we're gonna keep going. Maybe we get lucky I have also changed my inventory around a little bit five prayer potions with one ranging potion if you pay full attention you should just about not take any damage or very very minimalistic damage so it's a very easy boss once you like if you are focused on it kill count number 45 700k from one two three four five six of them not bad onyx bolts okay first 57 kc and this is the first like okay drop 400k nice okay first good drop there we go new trip this time 1 million and we're on kc 59 not bad at all all right so this is how i nowadays go on my trips i take one ranging potion six prayer potions toxic blowpipe with rune arrows and uh necklace of anguish granite boots barrels gloves armor top of bottom assembler slayer helmet archer's ring and that's it and the rest is like 22 healing food and uh, anti-venom and the stamina pod and i can do Basically full inventory of loot worth of drops with this inventory. That was 20 minutes trip. We are currently on KC number 65. Not half bad. Let's see what we got in this trip. Nice amount of bones. Boom, boom. And uh, this and that and this and that. 700k. Not bad. 400k that trip. 470k the next trip. It feels like the Hydra money per hour is actually much lower compared to like Vorkath, for example. Um, it could be the fact that I'm unlucky, but from 75 of them, I can say, I can pretty comfortably say the drop rate would probably need to be buffed, but the fight itself is super easy, so I would want to have a harder fight, but better drops, if that makes sense. There we go, 700k in this trip, we are now up to 80 kill count. Not bad, not bad. What? Boys, we're going PKing. Alright, who wants to fuck with me? Look at his switches, man. Ha! Huh, you're fucked now. 1 million. We're currently on 86 kill count. And we got this Onyx Bolt drop that, I guess, 400k. The best drop so far that I have gotten from the Hydra. Uh, that's gonna be 225k from that one and we are now on kc89 11 more kills to go 500k next trip this is honestly the motivating to do at this point but we only have five left to do uh, i really do believe that hydras will actually get buffed um either just the drop table or the actual hydras might actually get harder to kill and then the the drop table uh a bit enhanced because right now it's just not worth your time Doing them, every other boss in the game is worth more money. Vorkath, more money. Zora, more money. Even Kraken is better. So, um, I really think it needs to be buffed. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 100 KC is accomplished. Obviously, after that, we went on the Grand Exchange and we decided to sell most of the loot. Now, disclaimer, um, I did not get everything from the loot because quite often you would get death runes blood runes stuff like that and i didn't actually sell all of those items but all in all this can be a rough estimate of what you should expect from a hundred hydras it is unfortunate because be because i didn't get a single rare or a single unique but i would assume the uniques are one in uh, 512 or something like that so it's very rare and this took me eight hours to complete 
uh, seven hours of streaming and then obviously now the anyway seven hours to complete all in all and we got basically eight mil so a little bit over one mil an hour makes this just not worth it uh, especially when you cut down the costs of like scales darts stuff like that if you have tebow it's probably a little bit better though all right i'm now going to finish the konar slayer task on small hydras just to see what kind of a drops those give and then we're gonna kill some of the other monsters in the dungeon itself or we might continue with some konar slayer but i have 76 left i'm not gonna spend another 10 hours or six hours more killing hydra when it's j just bad um so yeah we're just gonna kill the small ones see what we can get and i'm gonna edit the video meanwhile trip number one of regular hydras it is safe to say that the bones are not 8k each they're like 3.4k each at the moment so it's uh even they even the small ones aren't really profitable and they're uh let's say much harder to kill than wyverns for example the only notable drop though mystic row bottom i still have 60 to kill and i'll finish the task and we'll see what happens if i just kill the small ones Trip number two for 415k, a little bit nicer loot this time around, got some uh, like 350 round monkfish for unknown reasons. However, I think I'll take Bone Crusher, so I don't, uh, I I'm not gonna pick up the Hydra Bones anymore, uh, just because this task is gonna take me forever if I do so. Um, so yeah, I'll just have my Bone Crusher bury the bones for me, um, but yeah. So uh, about the part where I'm going to edit the video while I killed... Yeah, I died. Um, I just got a Hydra's eye off a minion. Uh, is Hydra eye rare? I think this... It, what? Uh, this must be good. Is either Megas the gloves? Wait, I don't freaking know. I'm confused. I'm really confused, but I feel like this is good. Maybe it's not. I know that Miwi got one, so he will know what to do with it. Alright, so it feels like it can be combined with the heart and the fang, and it makes a ring. Um, so I guess I got really lucky. Um, I think it's hard to talk shit. But then, <laughs> well, never mind, I guess we were not lucky, fuck. Alright, well, the Hydra task is completed. We got ourselves an Hydra's eye, uh, which I don't even know if it's tradable or not. It is not tradable, so you have to get all three pieces. It's like a bludgeon, but a scuffed version of it. It's like a ring, bludgeon ring, let's call it that for now. Um, I am going to do Slayer normally. Uh, whatever I get, I will do, because this, this, you know, earlier I got Monkfish, now I got Gold Ores. I think this is the Conar drop table that you can actually have a, a rare chance of getting, and I got like, I rolled twice on it so far. So get some uh, Adamant Dragons in the Lead Kuren Vault. We're gonna do it. Okay, great. And we're gonna do a bunch of tasks like that one and uh, see what we can do from it. Also, in my spare time, I probably, after I finish this video, I would assume, I will probably go ahead and complete the two new quests and start working on Achievement Diaries. That's gonna be one of my new goals. With all that being said though, I really do hope you guys did enjoy the video today and if you did, consider giving it a quick like. I went through 8 hours of stream recording to put this video together um, and I really hope I made it funny uh, or enjoyable and uh, if I did, do let me know. Uh, and if I didn't, let me know as well. Uh, I always try to improve, try to do my best and give me suggestions what you want to know about the new area i can make a video more videos about it but in the near future i think i'm planning on just continuing slayer and then see how many times we can land on the new drop table and whatnot uh, so with that one out of the way hopefully you guys you know what i said that meant too many times have a great day ladies and gents and i'll see you hopefully tomorrow Bye bye